One of the websites that we'll be using for my class this session is Photobabble. You can find it here at photobabble.com or you can Google it. Photobabble is a great site because it allows you to upload pictures that you've taken and then you can make a recording that accompanies the picture. So you could tell the story that the picture shows, you could describe the picture. It's a great way to record yourself speaking, which is good speaking practice. So if we go to the website, the first thing you'll want to do is sign up. Now, I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in. If you have a Facebook account, you can create an account through Facebook. This is very easy to do. It's safe to log in this way. You don't have to worry. They won't steal your information. So you don't need to create a new account if you already have an account with Facebook. If you don't use Facebook, however, then you'll have to create a username and password. So I'm going to press Connect with Facebook. Now, it wants me to enter my password, which it may do from time to time, but that's just my Facebook password. Now, I've already created one photo babble here. That was a sample photo babble that I did, but I'll show you how to create another one. Once you have your account open, you can go over here to create new. When you do that, you have all of these options. You can choose a photo from your computer. If you have a Facebook account, then you can choose a photo from your Facebook account. Or if you've chosen an image online, then you can paste the URL, the website right there and then you can upload the photo that way. I'm going to choose a photo from my Facebook account. Here's the photo that I've chosen, and now I'm going to press Create. Now you can see here's the photo uploaded. Now I have these options. I can press Record. Once I press record, Photobabble is going to begin recording everything that I say about this picture. So it's very simple to make a short recording for the picture. So this is a picture that I took. This is in my neighborhood. I live in Ghent in Norfolk, and um, I was walking around one day. It was in fall. It was a beautiful day in October. The weather was really nice, and I was taking pictures of some of the old houses in my neighborhood, and I really liked this one. I thought there were some beautiful flowers outside, and it made me happy to see such a beautiful sight. I'm really happy that I live in Norfolk, and I'm really happy that I live in such a beautiful neighborhood. Now, we can play it back to hear what I recorded. So this is a picture that I took. This is in my neighborhood. I live in Ghent in Norfolk, and um, I was walking around one day. It was in fall. It was a beautiful day in October. The weather was really nice, and I was taking pictures of some of the old houses in my neighborhood, and I really liked this one. I thought there were some beautiful flowers outside, and it made me happy to see such a beautiful sight. I'm really happy that I live in Norfolk, and I'm really happy that I live in such a beautiful neighborhood. All right. Now, I'm happy with that recording. I like it. So we'll go down here. I can make it public or private. There's no reason to keep it anything other than public for our class. And I'll give it a title. This is a title that it borrowed from uh, Facebook, but I'll call it My Neighborhood. Okay, and then I'm going to press Save. Now I can go here to view this photo babble. And here it is. So this is a picture that I took. This is in my it, of course, will immediately start playing again. I'm going to stop it. Now, the cool thing is that next you can do embed this photo babble or link to this photo babble. I'm going to embed it. I'm going to copy all of this, okay? And I'm going to post it on my blog. I will post another video showing you how to post the embedded photo babble on your blog.